let's see how to connect to db2 database and the reason why i am recording this particular tutorial is one of the user asked me how to connect to a db2 database now to connect to db2 database you need three things most importantly the name of the server or if you are already on the machine where the database is installed you can use localhost the the second thing is the the port where, which is configured and the database that you are trying to connect now once you have identified these three informations the next thing that you need is user id and password now remember one thing db2 database do not have the concept of password and when i say that is like the password is basically the 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 password of the user who logs in to the machine so so if i am logged in as let's say db2 admin then whatever password this user is for the at the windows level that password you will use to connect to a db2 database now we like oracle in oracle you create a user and when you create user you say identified by password you specify the password in db2 when you create an user in fact you can't create a user you just grant the permissions the user is created at the os level operating system level now there are many tools the, the best way to connect to db2 database is you launch the db2 connect db2, you go to the db2 and then you launch the db2 command window as administrator and then you find out which instance how many instances you have so that you can see that there are two instances dbp so the first thing that you need to do is you need to set the instance using db2 instance is equal to dbp then you will say db2 terminate to make sure that that set is getting affected and then let's say there is a database called if you want to see the databases you will say list db directory and then it will show you all of these databases and you can see there are multiple databases here so i'm going to go to a database called sample here there is a database called sample so the the easiest way to connect to the database is db2 connect to sample now if the user who is logged in the user who is logged in to this particular machine has access to the database then it, you don't need to specify the user id and password so you can see that if i run this if i run this i'm connected and the user that got connected is db2 admin and why this particular data user got connected why this particular user because this particular user has got permissions on this database and hence this particular user was able to now if if you are logged in as a db2 admin but if you wanted to use any other user so if you want to disconnect then you will say db2 connect reset and if you wanted to connect to this particular database but with a different user you will say user sql sa using and you will give the password here now if i give this particular password like this it will not work you can see because the password of this user this particular user window this password of this user at the windows level is small p so if i just change this and if i run this and okay so right so the thing is the the sql essay does not have the authority now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and i'm going to create a new user let's say new user called test and i'll give a password just one letter p that's done and what i'm going to do i'm going to add this user into the admin group
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to say test using P. And you can see the user that got connected is this test user. And the P is the password. And how the DB2 was able to authenticate this user because this user is at the OS level and it is because because it is added to the admin and admin is by default admin has got the sysadmin rights unless yeah, unless you don't change it there is a complexity to that i will not go into the all those things but you, you can see i just created a user at the os level and then this is the password of this user so if i want to connect to this particular machine let's say if i do win 16 and if i give use a different account test and P, I'm pressing the P, you can see this is P. And if I click OK, I'm logged in. So the, this user, this test user, this test user is a Windows user having password P. And when I created that user, automatically I was able to. I did not do anything at the database level, at the, at the DB2 level. Now, if this is complicated, if this is too complicated, then there are multiple tools to connect to your database db2 database the most famous that i i know is one of these is db visualizer so db visualizer and i don't have the internet connectivity which is not really good but let me do one thing let me open and you can see there is a tool called db visualizer and the beauty of this db visualizer is it is you can use it for free you can download it for free and you can use it for free so it allows you, so let's download this particular. So it's it's close to 212. I've already done this. So let me go there and let me launch that particular utility, DB Visualizer. And then once we have launched this, let's create a connection. This is again a free tool. And let's do something. Let's actually close all of this. Let me keep a note of this because I'm going to do this. Let me close close anyway. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say plus. I'm going to click here plus and I can say create database connection or I can use this plus symbol to create a database. I can right click here and I can say create database connection or I can create, I can click on here plus and then you can choose the database db to LUW. And once you choose this, you can see here, I can give a name. So let's say I want to connect to a database called sample and then the server this is the this is the server so this is the local host or i can give the server name which is win 16 whatever you want this is the port and how do the, how do i get the port how do i get the port now remember one thing the port can be found using db2 get dbm config find str service and here you can see the service name 5001. I have to use that particular port here and the database that I want to connect. And I'll give the test user and I'll say the password is one letter, which is P. And I'll try to ping the server successfully verified. And I'll say connect. And you can see I should be able to connect. And then once I'm connected, what I can do is I can launch the a SQL commander, new SQL commander. And here you can see, this is the sample connection that I created. And I'm going to type this here. And I'm going to say create table employee test. So I'm going to create a table called employee. And let's run this. And you can see, so success. So, and I'm going to insert one record into this table, insert into employee test values the id of employee which is one and the first employee who joined our organization is rock and i'm going to run this and then i'm going to go here and then what i'm going to do i'm going to say db2 select star from employee underscore test 
and I should be able to get the one employee that we have inserted. So one rock. So whether you, you and again, you don't have to use the SQL DB visualizer. You can, you can, you could have created this table. So if I wanted to create this table, so let's say if I wanted to create another table called employee test one and sorry, then what I need to do, I need to type these commands in DB2 under DB2. And then you can see the command got created. And if I now say select star from employee test one, you can see that I don't have because we just created that particular table. So if you can use the, the, the DB2 command window to perform all of the activities such as creating, dropping, deleting the data, etc. If you have the tools and you like the GUI tools, then you can use. Now, DB Visualizer is one of the tool. There is, there is another tool which is also famous, which is called DB Weaver. So you, again, I don't have the access here, but DB Weaver. So this is also, again, it's a community free. It's also a free tool. You can use this particular tool to connect to your database and perform the operations. And I'm going to show you that. I have already installed it, but I'm not going to create a connection because it's exactly the same. So here you can see it's a community edition, which is means it is a free. Again, you can see here it's a free. I'll say no. And you can see it supports DB2, MariaDB, MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, SQL Server. It supports all of these databases. If you can see the list of databases that it supports or list of different connections that it supports, it's vast. It's, it's one of the best tools that you can use. This is a good tool. The DB Visualizer is also a good tool that you can use. I hope this particular tutorial was useful. I hope you learned how to create, how to create the connection to DB2 database and how to create a table, how to work on it. And I hope the user who asked me finds, finds this particular tutorial useful and then he will be able to connect to the database. Thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.